Hello and welcome to a Tuesday night football betting picks video, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I'm your host, I'm Matthew. Ron Burgundy. <laughs> exactly. That's how I feel right now. I'm in the twilight zone. I'm your host, Matthew, model for Limes.com with Jason Gilbo. Uh, we got Seattle plus six and a half underdogs on the road against the Los Angeles Rams. We got half the team out for both of these squads. Um, and once again, we're playing on Tuesday night. So a lot of really unknown factors coming into this game, but we're going to still try and give you some values. Jason, how are you feeling on the spread? I don't love the touchdown spread because just because of all the uncertainty really on both sides. Mm -hmm. um, there's like a few pieces that we know, like OBJ coming back, which is big, just, you know, no issues with Cooper Cup, Van Jefferson. So like at least the passing attack is all, together um they're gonna get henderson back I expect him to kind of mix in with michelle's so like offensively i think the rams are fine defensively you know we were kind of looking before the show and yeah some secondary issues potentially um and then on the seattle side like that's kind of the concern you know potentially no tyler lockett um and i think that kind of changes things a little bit for me if like lockett does end up playing because uh, ramsey being back like We've seen Metcalf have kind of a really tough time with Ramsey and Wilson just tends to kind of shy away from not throwing his way too. So like who's going to beat you and especially kind of with how Seattle's offense has been. Yeah. They finally kind of turned it around against Houston, but that was what two fifty plus yard runs by Rashad Penny. Like how, how great did they really look, you know, against a better defense and it hasn't been good the last few weeks, regardless since Wilson's come back from injury. So I think there's kind of a lot of concerning points. I think there's more concern for Seattle in this game than there is for the Rams. Yeah, the Rams have a longer list of COVID and injuries coming into this one, but Seattle, I mean, they, they definitely are not the better team in general if these teams were both healthy and then you have Lockett out. I think the biggest deal is the fact that the Rams' offense is all there. Um, can Seattle's defense put up a fight? Probably not. <laughs> That's kind of where I'm at. This is rough. It really is because it's like if I had any faith in Metcalf, especially if Lockett's there, I really want to go Seattle because I feel like they can exploit the injuries in the secondary to the Rams. I think they could have big giant plays. But this is second half Russell Wilson. And second half Russell Wilson is not good at football, apparently. Um, after week, what is it? Now with 18 weeks, it's after week nine. He's just no longer any good. Um this is a really odd game. I think you just got to go with the home favorites at six and a half. And I think Cooper Cup has a big day. Van Jefferson has some some great catches. And Odell, um, look, he is kind of a prima donna. He did kind of complain in Cleveland. But I he's trying to prove that his points were valid. Because so far in LA, he's looked fantastic. And if he continues to play this well, people are going to start siding with him, which I think that's really a big ego boost to OBJ. And that's what he wants. He's like, he wants to play well and prove to people that he was in the right in this whole debacle. Um, so with all that said, I, I think the Rams offense is just too much for Seattle and uh, especially Russ um, yeah. in this game. Yeah, I, I'm with you. Like like you said, I, I think you saw with the home team. If this was in Seattle, one, you'd be getting a different spread. But yeah. two, I think it'd just be a little bit tougher. And as you mentioned, like we haven't talked about really Seattle defense Um you know, as much like 26 in DVOA overall, 28th in past DVOA. Um, they're one of the worst pressuring teams in the league. They don't win a ton in terms of pass rush win rate. Like there's a lot going on um, to the fact that you're going to probably give Stafford a ton of time. Yep. And with these wide receivers going up against the secondary, which has not really been great this year, um, that's a big problem. So I think that's kind of where the major advantage is. And like I said, you can still run on, Seattle, especially when you factor in the passing game, they're going to have to respect that. Um, I think having both Henderson and Michelle probably going to be what 55, 45, 50, 50 split. I would imagine between the two. Um, yeah, I think they're going to be pretty fresh and they've looked pretty good on the ground this season. Yeah. And I'm sure Seattle fans and some other fans are going to point towards the 49er game. Be like, what are you talking about? Seattle, Seattle played great defense. It's like, no, they didn't. Jimmy Garoppolo played terrible football. That's what happened. I didn't see anything out of Seattle defense sites just happening to be in the spot where Jimmy Garoppolo decided to throw or fumble or whatever. It was just, that was the weirdest game ever. If you, if you discount that one game, Seattle's defense on DVO is probably like 30th ranked. Like that's, that was a huge game for their defense, but I don't think they really did anything. I think they got lucky on a really bad week from the 49ers. Um, yeah. 
it is a divisional matchup. You always got to take that in consideration. Divisional matchups historically hit the under, but at 47 here, man, oh man, do I hate this <laughs> over underline. I really like, I was thinking like maybe I'll argue tease down the six and a half. Then the Rams just have to win the game. You can also get over 41 or under 53. But even then, I don't know if I like either of those lines. Like I'm still kind of scared. Uh, you got any thoughts on the over under? Yeah, 47 is just such a weird spot, and especially in such a weird week. Mm-hmm. You know, like it's a Tuesday, basically afternoon game. Yeah. Um, yeah, in LA, um, I think I do like it more just because it is in LA. You're not having to deal with Seattle in December. Um, yeah. I, I mean, if all goes well and we get a good Stafford game, you know, I, I don't see, I don't see the Rams not hanging, you know, 24 plus points in this game. Um, the issue really does come down for me is, you know, can Seattle kind of make their mark, you know, can they put up, you know, 20, 24 points as well. That's, that's where it's tough. Um, and without lock, if lock, it doesn't play, I think I'm leaning the under here. Cause I think that Seahawks, Seahawks offense does struggle quite a bit. Yeah. The more I'm looking at this, I think I've decided the only bet I'd be willing to place is a teaser with Rams and under, uh, 50, Three, that would be um then the Rams just got to win the game under 53 seems a lot safer and again there's like I can't remember the exact number but uh, I was telling Jason over the past 10 years like unders in divisional matchups after week 13 are like 75 percent hit rate like divisional matchups are just so intense after week 13 you got two teams that are technically in the playoff hunt um I'm meaning that slight towards the Seahawks because I don't think they make the playoffs, but uh, it's going to be a slugfest. It's going to be so weird. Again, Thursday games have also been low scoring. Do we do we apply that to Tuesday? I don't know. Like we don't we don't usually do this. So I think the minus one twenty for the Rams to win the football game and to get under fifty three. I'll give that like a three on my confidence scale out of five. Um, other than that, I'm probably just kind of st- staying away from this game from a betting standpoint with my own money. Yeah. And as you mentioned, like the Rams have everything to play for with the Cardinals yeah. slipping. And then the Cardinals play the Colts this week. Like there's a chance we get the Rams as NFC West winners by this time next week, you know? Mm-hmm. So I think there's a lot to play for, for the Rams. I think they know that. Um, yeah. I, I like the teasing option there. I think that just makes me feel all the safer. Yeah. I think teasing both these Tuesday night games is probably the way to go. Um, I, in the Benning Picks video for Eagles-Washington, we picked Eagles and the under. I think teasing that game down to the Eagles just having the win in under 47 is the way to go. So uh, you can actually come up with a, a nice little four-legged teaser uh, for Tuesday night. Let's go to wrap it up for this one. As always, thank you guys for watching. You can click subscribe and the bell to get notified when our videos go up. If you like this one, drop a like. If you did not, a dislike and comment down below your favorite bets from this game and who you are supporting. We'll see you for the player prop video very soon.